Welcome back to Code Vein. The last You ready oh, for this? God, you ready? You, you ready to go get chat on? I am ready to watch you get totally defeated. Oh, maybe I should switch my armor back out. Maybe you should. Let's see so here. We totally didn't accidentally spend 12 minutes talking and and somehow didn't have the recording going. I didn't totally bring up cowboy boot sandals and then show you a picture that left you <laughs> physically ill. <laughs> I'll put that up now. Enjoy that shit. I'll put you know what? Fuck it. I'll put in the little wow effect too. Wow. That's the one. I put it in the last episode and I just never put I, like it was in the project. Oh, that's better damage already. So we spent some time upgrading and stuff. People probably noticed the sword is a bit better. We upgraded the uh the cloak a bit. Yep. Nothing else though. Nothing uh, else. Are you okay? You're like sh you're like shifting your weight like your balls are gonna explode. <laughs> no, dude. You know, pee is stored in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like it hurt you physically. <laughs> yeah, dude, I didn't I don't know how to respond to that. Uh you could respond with no it's not. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're aware of this, men. No bladders, strangest thing. <laughs> it won't do it, no balls. No balls. What was it yeah, it's Betty White who was like, why do people in why did why is it that balls are considered tough when they're the right. most sensitive and pathetic part of the human anatomy? Because they can barely be touched and then instantly incapacitates whoever they're connected to, as opposed to a vagina, which is the strongest thing on earth. Next I'm, to tungsten. I'm paraphrasing, of course, but still. Why grow why grow a para? Why not grow a vagina instead? I have questions about that, and I'm not in a good enough position intellectually to talk about it. Like, I'm just like, all right, sure, whatever, it's fine. We did finish reading off those cats' uh, comments and stuff, and nothing was nearly as good as the first half. So I'm not, I'm not, bleh, I'm not gonna read any more of it out. It was funny though; we got a good laugh out of it. If people want to know what you missed in the 12 minutes we recorded before we realized that the recording was broken, nothing. We went and fought the boss four times in a row, died every time, and then got really frustrated and stopped. To be fair, the frustration was because the recording was broken, but that's a different thing. And then we just spent the last half hour grinding so that you could have strong enough everything. So that I could so that I could three shot them instead of like six shot. Also, you uh, got that Yakimo skill that gives you super, super good uh, bonus damage on your uh, two handed on weapons. my two handed weapons, which is super duper helpful. You seem to be having a great time with it. Let's get it! I can't wait to see the damage. Holy shit! That is so much better! Oh my god. It's amazing what 30 minutes of grinding can do for you. Oh my god. 30 minutes of grinding will save you 15% or more no, on, your <laughs> <laughs> on your Icker consumption. On your Icker consumption. It's like a percentage upgrade. Oh, Louie, you're getting all fucked. God, this guy is so big and crazy. He really, I said it in the last, not the last episode, but the, the first time we were fighting him, he really reminds me of, a, of an Iran car from Bleach. He like, really does. Like a lot. Looks like it too. Yep. Gotcha. You're super gonna kill him this time. I'm so interested to know how much a full charge attack does on him. I am not telling you that you should do it right now, because fuck, you'd explode. Oh my god. Find an opening and heal. Find an opening and heal. Watch you lose now. He's dead. Bye! Ooh. Obliterator Bye. Axe! Bye! By the way, the Obliterator Axe is super legit. Also, that's a mace. I don't care if it says it's an axe. And it, I, it, it's so much faster than here. Than this here, Y-hander. Than this Y-hander. Oh, wow, yeah. And it scales a strength. That's super nice. So, you may be wondering what this is. Nope. You may be wondering why I'm not picking it up. Because we're going to come back to that. Well, you're gonna. You, 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 yeah, that's right. You want to focus on getting to that missile right there first. That's what we will do 
first and foremost. We're only five minutes in, so don't give me any of that shit about, oh, next time. <laughs> five minute episode goes out. All right, we beat the boss later, folks. Hmm. We should check that out. Don't well, tell me what to do. We should check that out. That's super useful. What's in that chest? Hey, pick up that file. Nope. Ma'am? Oh, jeez. Yikes. Ah! Oh, God. Whip City. You are not having a good time fighting this one regular enemy. Is she gonna fucking beat you? No. Now that Louie's here. Now that Louie's here to back you up. <laughs> but you see what kind of damage I was doing. Honestly, no. I was busy watching your health. S well, stop it. Stop looking at my help. That's for me to see and nobody else. Uh-oh. Yee. I can't wait to get a... So we're going to... I'm going to peel back the curtain a little bit. Later today, after we're done recording Code Vein, we're going to do a couple other episodes of stuff. Of stuff. I'm so excited to watch how you react to this stuff. To this metaphorical stuff. Because I told you about what I wanted us to record before, like, oh, look. a week oh, and a half. Oh, look. Oh, no, she coming. We were fighting one of those uh, for the grind off screen, and it got stuck in a fucking wall, by the way. In a fucking wall. Louie did, like, a power attack to it, and it's and it got knocked out into a wall and was and was stuck and completely un unattackable and we had to go and hard reset the area by going all the way back to a missile because it wouldn't die and the combat wouldn't end. It was great. We got a lot of the combat music. Yes, we did. The combat music went uninterrupted for 25 minutes, I think. And not an exaggeration either. That's like straight up like it was a long time. All right, we need to go this way, this way, way, yep, way, The way. elevator goes this way. Wanna head down? Now we'll head up first. Yeah, Louie. You narc. <laughs> you fucking narc. So, I thought of a thing the other day, and it made me laugh out loud, and I was trying to make sure not to forget it, and I just remembered what it was. What was it? So, back a few years ago, I was working at, I was working at uh, one of my old jobs, and one of the girls was like, I have a guy that I really like. Cody, can I ask you, like, for some tips? I was like, sure. And she was like, okay, there's a guy that I like. I'm like, right. And she goes, but I don't know how to get him to notice me. Do you have any suggestions? Notice me, senpai! Do you want to know my response? Yes, actually. This is the only time I will confidently say that I was exuding the most atrocious big dick energy. The biggest of the biggest dick energy. Do you want to? All right. Yeah, lay it on, lay it on me. So she's like, "Do you have any suggestions to make this guy notice me?" I go, "Walk up to him and very casually mention that you would really appreciate it if he would pound your mound." <laughs> and she was like, "Excuse me." I was like, "He won't respect you, but he will say yes." He'd be an idiot if he didn't say yes. Now I'm not, <laughs> I'm not That's a man of so of such colorful language and you know polite company most of the time, despite how often I swear. We're going to wait. We're, see, the problem I have with the AI is that whenever you climb a ladder and you wind, wind up in combat, the AI still needs to climb the ladder. Yeah. And they don't, they don't speed climb. But I think that that's a pretty accurate response. Like, ladies, don't do that thing I said because it was a joke answer, but fuck if that's not funny. <laughs> it's also <laughs> true. A guy would just say yes. He'd be like, yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Well... You will have no dignity or respect from him, but he will say yes. Also, if there are kids watching this, it's not this video this isn't is for you. Totally not. How true. did you find this channel that's marked not for kids? Truth. What do we have here? A key. I think gonna we need that. that for later. Not gonna jump into the abyss. Why? What's wrong with that? Artorius is down there. Totally, I got nothing. Totally whooping the Abyss's ass and not accidentally getting totally wrecked by it instead. Now remember, kids, that is not an applicable direction. Because we're going to need this key to get to this room, I think. I don't think you use the key, actually. 
The key's kind of important for later. It is. Every key is important eventually. I was about to ask you a question that I know the answer to. Which is, have you ever had a moment where you realize that your keychain has achieved janitor level? You reach into your belt loops, because I know the answer. Yep, jingly keys. The reason I wear them on my hip is so that people can't... Is so that when... Uh, oh, man. <laughs> Fuck you! Um, I like that. It's not that either the key you have doesn't work. It's that Louie decided to comment on it. You know, we need a key. It's like, you motherfucker. That's a video game thing that I, that I, like, I'm glad it's not a thing, but I'd appreciate it, which is... God damn it! The awkward moment of you have a key, you have a key that isn't for the right thing, so you have to awkwardly stand there and jiggle the knob for like 20 seconds. Like, is it just the key and the knob don't like like each other, or is it that the key's wrong? And just keep doing that. Is it that the is it that the peg does not fit in hole? That is exactly the joke I was making. Yeah. Just force it. Tell that door to bite the pillow. <laughs> I'm real bad today for some reason. <laughs> you're you're oh, deplorable today. I am. A little bit insecure, a little unconfident. Because you don't understand. I'll do what I can. Sometimes it don't make sense. <laughs> yeah. Oh, friendship is this. No more healing. Just don't push yourself too hard. Don't tell me what to do. Fuck you, Louie. There's something I I think I've probably Fuck. said it before, but there's something about 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 that response to completely legitimate advice or completely like non-confrontational interactions. Have a good day. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what the fucking do. Like there's something about that that just tickles me so much. That's why I say it all the time because I'm just like, "Oh. Oh, hey. Bye." Let me just casually hit you for 2k. How much health did he have? 200. Eh, that's fine. Uh, 1800 damage it. over kills not that bad. Not that bad. I tell you, I was I was DMing back when I first started my campaign, and uh, one of the guys was playing a fighter, and he was like, oh yeah, I have this guy, I'm gonna hit him with my axe for like 12 did damage. Did you hear the anime moan? I did. I was like, and he's like, I'm gonna hit him for 12 damage. I was like, well, he's only got 4 HP. And there's another guy that's standing literally one square away. Would you like to cleave? And he goes, yes. <laughs> and for people who don't know, that's a house rule for if you do so much damage that the damage carries over to the next adjacent target. Yep. Because fuck that guy in particular. Because that guy. Oh, boy. Yeah. Something about the Minotaur being able to cut a guy's Minotaur. head off so hard that he cuts off the next guy's head, too, and made him look like Guts from Berserk. Yeah, that's fine. I wanted him to feel cool, so I was just like, you know what? I just wanted to. I just wanted him to feel included, okay? Dude, I love making characters seem really, really cool in D&D. &D. It's very fun. I tell you one of the, one of the offshoot games we had for a one-shot, I had the party run up, like... Uh, like a pecking order for their um, for a mercenary crew and they were a mercenary mm. company and they had an airship that they would fly around and one of the guys was he was a captain who was who was a druid okay. and in order to power the ship he would sit in basically the captain's chair which was hooked up to a tesla coil and he would channel call lightning on himself and shoot it down into the engine damn that's metal. it was so fucking cool that's so metal I think we've been up here already. I don't know. Yes. Uh oh, we're getting to that part where we're lost. We're not lost. We're tastefully. Ad we're we are on an adventure. We're whoa! <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! The destination's hell. <laughs> ah! Your shock, like, exactly. super got me because I wasn't paying any attention. Like, I leaned back and I was rubbing my eyes or whatever, and then just, ah! and I look and you're just plummeting into the abyss. <laughs> and I was like, all right, that happened. That's what happened. Oh, we already went that way. You, you might want to just click that and start the thing. No, you can always come back out of it again. That's true, but we have a Check missile right here. I know, Louis. I want the thing in the box first. I want the box. What's in the box? Yeah. What's in the box? Literally, we just have to get to that. Also, I like that it's got a god beam that comes from nowhere. I was watching an interview that was... Okay, so I've been watching Noclip on uh, on YouTube. It's a, a company that does um, 
documentaries about uh, video game companies, which mm-hmm. is super cool. Yeah. I recommend them. Go check them out. They're awesome. But they did one back in 2018 or 2017 about Bethesda. And it's so hilarious to watch. They're talking about in 2017, they've got this new ambitious project called Fallout 76. Oh, God. And it's before the game obviously has come out. And now, like, so far on, the game's been out for over a year now. And it's such a shit show. Like, oh, I my bet it is. God. Did you hear that there was uh, the latest thing was hackers were able to were able to find a thing where if they can see another player, they can look at you and empty your entire inventory no matter how far away you are, as long as you're visible in their draw distance. Damn. It's, so all they need to do is look at you and they can fuck your shit up? Yes. That's so broken. It's almost like the game needs to be monitored better and have the ha- and have this stuff handled. Sit down. I don't remember if this was during the episode that that never that'll never be or not, but I'll mention it again. Don't don't defend video game companies. Don't defend. They don't video deserve game. it. They're they're extenuating circumstances. I'm sure. I said uh, always support like, I'll say this almost always support an indie dev who legitimately has artistic vision and has a game that has a purpose. Like I don't I don't respect Ubisoft for example. Because those those are that's a company that firstly they release subpar games that are buggy and really not that good. Yeah. Like oh, we were just the, here. We were. The games come out and they and they do become good eventually. Sometimes. Sometimes. Some sometimes. You did it again, where you leaned away from the mic to look at the screen and then didn't lean back to talk. It probably still picked up fine, but it made me laugh. Well, sometimes. But that like that's a game that came out, or that's a company that released um, what the hell's the name of that? Uh, nope. What was that? Uh, Division 2. That game came out, and it is all about how the co- the government collapsed, and the USA in its entirety is pretty much, like, a in total mess. anarchy. Right? Yep. I know where we are. And it says, the folks with the guns took control. And then Ubisoft was like, this game has no political message. It's just a game where people shoot each other for video game purposes, and that's it. That's what I was afraid of. And everyone went, are you fucking for real? This game's not political, and you tell me that there's a whole thing going on about uh, <laughs> about people with guns taking over the, con- the country when the fucking government collapses? Shut up. <laughs> you were too close to the wall, and it broke. Uh oh, you can't use your abilities. You're inhibited. Fucking shit. You know what came out, by the way, that's on sale on Amazon right now that I'm really excited about? All of Batman Beyond is on sale for 60 bucks on Blu ray. Get you, shut your filthy ass up! Yeah. Oh! Oh my god! Kill Corridor! This is Sparta! Hot Gates. Hot Gates. Well, that went well. So far, you're going to get absolutely annihilated. You see, they came running. They were like, oh, yeah. Upgrading this was a very good idea. Where are they coming from? But that's the kind of thing where, like, when when a company makes a like makes a product and it says that like there's no politi- there's no political involvement at all despite the game clearly having some kind of message about something but it's controversial so they don't want to they don't want to say they that they really want to address is. it yeah like knife goes in guts come di- out it's different when it when like i'm willing to hold some level of respect for somebody who has an opinion that i don't agree with because it's their opinion you know what the fuck right. ever when you're when you're such a when you're such a corporate coward that you don't want to isolate part of your audience because uh, with your product by say, by trying to say something, God damn it, Louis! Yeah, you're it having a rough time. Off. Like that's when I start to have an issue. When I talk about stuff like Super Giant Games, or I talk about um, uh, oh god, I forget who was who the what the how. Div- Fuck! You Shit! Are dead. You are gonna. Yeah, you're dead. 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 Goodbye, souls. Goodbye, 20k. We had so carefully assembled. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. 
But when it comes to uh, like indie devs that actually release games that have something to say and they're ar- they have some level of artistic integrity, right. I find that very very endearing, and I really appreciate them saying, "Hey, this is our, this is the perspective or the or the theme this or is just the message thing. or whatever." I see you taunting me. Like I ap- I appreciate that att- that like level of hey look my souls. I appreciate that the ability to say, hey, I have something to say with this thing, as opposed to a big fat company who goes, uh, it's not nothing. Shut up. Activision did that with Call of Duty as well, where they were like, these games aren't about anything. It's just a game. It's just a game. And it's like, no, there's your game there's... clearly has a message built into it. All, Almost all media does in some way or another because it has the perspective, thoughts, or general opinions of at least one person who helped make it. It's impossible to make a game that literally isn't about anything. That's Almost impossible. You know. Oh yeah, I, I mean like games that aren't EA Sports level of nothing. That's that's a fair assessment. Oh, going down is where we got murdered. You ain't got a no FIFA. You ain't got a no FIFA. That video's so fucking great. I love that video. GameStop employees ripping his dick off in the store because everybody's screaming about FIFA all day. He's getting real sick of it. Oh man, real sick of it. Oh, hello. New path. This was the way I was trying to get to. Because we go up, up, and away! That teleport on the ladder was great. Wait a minute. Oh, we've been here. Yep. Be gentle. This is my first time. Please be gentle. (laughs) It's my favorite phrase for this is going to be rough. And then some. And then some. Many negative implications come with that sentence. Do you have the ornate key? No, but I think I know where to get it. We might need something else. Shut up. Won't take long. Yeah, you will. You always take long. Fuck! I want to keep ranting about game companies being bastards, but I don't think people want to listen to that. Because they are. Because they are. But I don't think people want to listen to that for the remainder of the episode. So I'm doing, That's I'm fair. Like, I'm trying to hold it You're in. You're trying to hold it I'm in. S- You're looking a little green around the gills there, buddy. I'm sitting here going, fucking bullshit. Activision Blizzard doesn't pay fucking taxes because they have God their Goddamn motherfucking Spider-Man. Spider-Man twins are on the boat. Yeah. Trent Reznor did the soundtrack. Oh, man. That video's so <laughs> goddamn awesome. <laughs> But, like, that's the th- kind of thing that frustrates me about this stuff is it's just like, oh, yeah, by the way, this game company that's operated entirely out of America is entirely made up of American employees and the CEO lives in America. It's it, technically it's centered in, uh, like, France. Something they, they, like they that. They just rent out a basement where it's technically it's technically their headquarters, even though the building's fucking empty. Fucking empty. And as a result, it they get uh, they get a total write off on their taxes and they don't have to pay anything, even mm-hmm. though they're a giant company that makes fucking millions upon millions of dollars. But, you know, whatever. I'm still very upset when I think about that stuff. Obviously. I can tell. You see it? You see that bitch? She just walks up and says, I don't know what the fuck's going on, Batman. I don't know what that was. Yeah, you do. Don't lie. Wow, the immensity of the fuck that she did not give by getting stabbed in the feet. <laughs> right. That's worse than being that's that's worse than stepping on a Lego. Have you seen speaking of stepping on bullshit, that picture of those Caltrip D4s that exist? Pulling it up. That sounds uh, It's uh, awful. Holy shit, is it bad? They're literally caltrips. They have spikes on them. Jesus. Louis, where did you go? Oh. He's fighting down there. Look at that! I don't want to step on one of those. You see this shit? 
Like, they're really cool. These are very cool D4s. I didn't see what you got now. No, it, I got uh, the other... The Isis Vestige Part 2. Yeah, but I, like, look down there. Oh, hello. The camera was not happy with that. <laughs> no, it was, that was delightful. The fact that D4s like this can exist is fucked up. So it's this whole, like, like I want to show you, like, it's this whole trifecta of rooms that pisses me off. This D4 is 20 fucking dollars. I'd buy it. I would too. I won't because it's fucking outrageous and I don't want to hurt someone with it. Well, don't it's step that, on it. It's that th no, no. I'm t I'm thinking of there's a very specific animation you can do in Yakuza Zero where you can fight a guy next to a box of nails and you grab nails and you shove them into the guy's mouth and you punch his mouth closed with an uppercut and it's like oh, yeah, that's gonna kill someone. That's that like, make, okay. Like that's the kind that alone, of that dental kind of, pain is like a pain is a kind of pain I wish on not even the worst of my enemies. That's the kind of imagery that makes your toes curl when you hear it. Oh, yeah. Like, that's so bad. You're alive! Fuck you. Well. You've uh, not been that way through that door. Yeah, that drop down is the progression. Oh, I have a destination in mind, though. I I absolutely assume so. Hey! Yep. Hey! Oh that's my god, go touch the fucking missile! Surrounding area map. This this whole trifecta of places. Yeah, and there's still chunks of the map missing because this area is so damn big. Like we joked about it a few episodes back, but like this place is giant. It is big. But now that we have a solid idea on where to go next, we will have to end the Dude, episode. Look at the fucking town from there. Yeah. Look at that view. That majestic fucking view. I sent pictures of those to Rob for the uh for the title card and he was like, What are they? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. They're spikes. just big weird anime spikes. Just paint them and he's like, Whatever. And then I threw the money at his face. Alrighty, folks, don't forget to do the thing when the points and we'll see you next time for another exciting episode of We Got Lost.